Stone suddenly would have been raided again. Uh, Eddie took Stone, Axe, and Blade. Oh, okay. And the rest of it must have been from the raid. That That's all right, then. For a second there, I thought we couldn't trust Eddie. Who is asleep? And oh my god, look what they've done with the base. Looks like uh, while I was offline, they managed to get all the walls to iron. Get some boxes down. They didn't do anything with the bench. Um, yeah, I might as well go out and farm. Get that table going, see if we can't get some guns for him. I mean, like, oh, look, he's even got the door to steal. He's done a lot while we're offline. That's, that's cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> he's even put an owl, outer layer with, like, airlock on it as well. That's sick. Nice job, Eddie. This must have taken ages. <laughs> Uh, we're definitely going to go farm now. I feel like maybe we, we've been offline for a bit too long. So, I need to get on that scrap hustle. And... Ooh, hello. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Just pulls a gun and runs off. Okay. Fair enough. Um... Yeah, that happened. I was just about to check out that base that uh, we fell into last time, see if anyone else has fallen in there, or um, if it's decaying or whatever, but I don't know. Okay, let's stop in off at the garage to see if there's any food, um, some crates to smash in that for the dailies, and then we're going to start smashing all these barrels all up the street, all the way to, I think, either the abandoned factory, or we can go the other way to the uh, abandoned research, but... I don't know, one of them. Looks like someone has just been here. It's probably that guy we just seen. Then, oh. Looks like he already had the same plan and he has just smashed all these off the road. I'm just picking up the blades in that for now so we can scrap them, but... Oh, this makes my journey like 10 times longer now. Okay, so we have some barrels on Smash here, that's good. Um, I'm gonna get to smashing them then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, settle down, settle down. I've barely got anything on me, man. Relax, hey. <laughs> uh, you get some people like that, though. I just, just want to kill anything they see. That's how my girlfriend was when she played this game. She just chased down anybody. Uh, <laughs> XD. Relax. Try hard. Uh, what did he even get? Like, shovels and a gas mask or something? Anyway, let's hit up this shop. I went spawn random because obviously I wanted to, you know, do get scrap while we're out. I'm thinking... I don't know. Let's get like 600 scrap or something for now. And then... We can either keep getting scrapped to get something from the uh, trading post, or I can go look for guns to to learn. Right, let me scrap all this stuff and keep moving. So, I said hi to the server. This server isn't even that unfriendly, to be honest. I mean, like, I've been on worse. And people are saying hi back, which is cool. These people are actually communicating. I mean, like, to be honest, that's how this game should be anyway. I can't wait to be actually get voice chat. So that way we can, like, have funny interactions of talking to people instead of just being generically, hi there, don't shoot or whatever. 
And let's be honest, either they don't shoot it does not work. Especially because of the people that abuse it and they're like, oh, hi, they don't shoot and they try to be friendly then they try to shoot you in the back when you're leaving. Not cool, dude. I'm just ask how everybody is. Because, you know, friendly server, why not? Okay, well, these people are pretty nice, so. I mean, like, nice to meet you. What is wrong with my fingers that I press N instead of M? Anyway, some nice people on the server. We got the drafting table so we can learn stuff, which is handy. I got a decent amount of scrap. Um, I'm thinking I should go out and get more scrap. For now, we're going to learn the machete because one thing I learned about this is when you learn the machete or the kitchen knife, it makes farming scrap 10 times easier from the barrels. And it only costs like a couple of blades and some metal to make anyway, so not a big deal. Uh, so quickly learn that. Um, just gonna check the cabinet. Four hours. Jeez. All right. One ninety-four stone per half an hour. Wow, that's not good. Um, <laughs> looks like I'm gonna have to farm some materials and the scrap at the same time while Eddie is offline so that way the whole base don't start to decay before he comes back. He's clearly cooking um, charcoal, making gunpowder or something. Okay, I'm gonna put some of these axes away, take one with me, and let's go out and farm. Actually, really quickly before I do go out and farm, I'm just going to chuck down this closet so I can put all this armor away. I mean, like, it's not the best armor, but we can take this stuff out to go farm with, so that way if you die it doesn't really matter, you know what I mean? Okay, now I'm going to sort out all the armor that's in the boxes and that, and I'm going to just probably cut to farming in the editing. Uh, we need to make the scrap back that we used in the machete. Alright, we're back. Man, this dude's still asleep. It's probably what he was thinking when I was offline. Oh, I just realized we need to upgrade the table to be able to use the machete, so... Better get on that. I almost completely forgot we need materials. Ooh. I do not like the looks of this thing being near my base. This kind of looks like an emergency raid thing, you know what I mean? Like, you put your gear and sleeping bags in there. And then you're able to hide the gear that you raided real quick and then get away in a vehicle or whatever later. Yeah, I don't I don't like that being there at all. I might have to blow that up. Uh, so we got some materials cranking now. Um, need to put this in the cabinet. What are we on now? Eight hours. Twenty hours, that's a lot better. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to keep it like kind of low like enough for the day so that way if anyone does raid they're not going to get much anyway okay so what do we need to do now still need more scrap you always need scrap eh? I'm going to just put this stuff away and we'll go get more scrap oh, I almost forgot I got double shelves I should place them down and organize these boxes a little bit better they just Everything is kind of all over the place, which I mean, like, I'm not going to lie, it's not a bad thing. However, it is kind of handy to have stuff where you know where it is, you know what I mean? Like, you're looking for gunpowder, it's in this box. You're looking for meds, meds are in that box. Guns go in the guns box, you know, that type of thing. 
I don't know. I'm not meticulous about it, but it does make things easier. It's also kind of handy also if you have like a spare scrapbook, so like an overflow of excess items that you want to kind of just use to get scrap. We'll whack that there. Look, that fits nicely. Alright, so when we make the uh, large box later, it'll look pretty cool up there. It'll look a lot better. Uh, I'm so annoyed that these two boxes didn't fit on the top of this, but whatever, we are not even going to get into it. Alright, let's depot all this and go get more scrap. Okay, so I think you get the point on how many things I had to hit to get up here, but obviously <laughs> I'm not going to leave all of them in the video. There was like an hour of footage of me just smashing barrels that I'm going to have to edit through later. So I'm probably going to catch that soon. Well, we came to the bomb shelter because I like this bomb shelter, alright? I've had luck here. There is a free ammo crate in here and sometimes it doesn't screw you over. So we'll check it out. I mean, like, we got the machete, we got the meds. Might as well do it, right? Plus, some, someone already raided like, every barrel all the way up to the abandoned research. And, um, that kind of annoyed me because I'm trying to get scrap, so just decided to come this way and risk it. Even though I've seen like sweaty glide builds everywhere. Probably gonna get shot on the way leaving here. Ah, uh, there's our ammo crate behind us. Take care of these two goons. Ho oh, ho Get away from the zombie. Ah, uh, we got an M4. We really can't die now. I need to get this thing home and loan it. This is the sucky things. I want to put it in home and then get 750 scrap for it. I'm pretty sure it's how much it costs. But I know I'm going to leave it at home. Probably get raided, but we got to do it. This is day two. Get an M4. That's that's awesome. Um. After I learn this thing, and if I get it home, right? After I learn it, but we're gonna have to use the gas I've been saving to take the boat over to the uh, military base. So we can use the green cards to get a blue card, to get a purple card, to get rifle bodies. And then we can just make imports and stuff. It'd be sick. And then we just have to worry about getting armor. I gotta say, um, having Eddie work on the base was really handy. Thanks to Eddie, um, gave me enough time to go out and just farm all the scrap we need and stuff, which is really handy. Having to do both when you're a solo player is so hard, as well as having to deal with like everybody coming for you. We have a long way to go. I am not even risking taking the roads. I normally take the roads to smash barrels and stuff, but with my luck in this M4, I'll get pulled up on 100%. Alright, so it looks like it might be raid hour because I see a red wall that was not red on our way leaving. I swear I'd have seen a body in the grass there. Someone sleeping. Yeah, look. It is somebody laying there. I'm gonna draw on your face. <laughs> That's really creepy, Pops. I'd have seen a bike up ahead. I can use some of that fuel I got to drive the rest of the way home and get this M4 home safely. Hopefully nobody owns this thing, but sorry if you do, it's going in the water for safety. I can't take any chances. I mean, like... I could see somebody leaving their actual bike there as a bait so that you steal it and then take it back to your base so they know exactly where you live. But I mean, like, that's just how I think, right? right? Give me that fuel back. Oh wow, five fuel. So much. Okay, we're finally back. Oh, let's learn this thing. 750, right. 
Let me take the ammo out of it and check how much that'll cost as well. 300. Okay, so 750 and 300. Um, let's learn the M4 and we'll wait to learn the bullets when we get rifle bodies. Alright, let me just quickly chuck all this stuff in the scrap machine and we'll get back to farming some scrap. Wow, that's lucky, an SMG. Now we need to get more scrap. Right, let's quickly learn this M4 so we can't get ready for it. What happened? Percy and I were just having a play date. Nice green cards here. Oh, I didn't have time to kill him. Can't be bothered. I'll just take a little bit of damage. Alright, give me something good. Blue card, nice. Now we have even more of a reason to take the boat over to the military. I mean, like, we could hit up um, the other blue card rooms, but I like the military better because you have better odds of getting good stuff, like uh, the purple card. We can kill the Avenger there. We might find a helicopter. I like going to the military. It's fun. Alright, we didn't have time to scrap up there because that annoying dude just comes through the walls and starts macheteing you, so we have to use our garage to scrap. Oh, still a box here, that's in. Semi-auto pistol. Let me just make some room for that because I might as well carry it. I can do my daily at the 100 uh, bullets for it for now. Just in case someone does come down to the garage while we're scrapping, we can pop them now. Or at least stand a chance. Let me stitch that. I forgot I had that skin for it. No, don't use it. And put it in shortcut bar. Alright, so easy. Let's go scrap this stuff and then uh, head home and learn everything. We should have enough by the time we scrap all this anyway. Chuck all that in. I don't need the double shelves anymore, I guess. I'm probably going to regret doing these plates because I need them for iron armor later, but you know, whatever. We're still. I need the scrap right now. Alright, uh, this is all done, let's get home. Finally learnt that SMG. These things are cheap to make, so I'm going to make two of them. <clears throat> when Eddie wakes up, he'll have an SMG in the box and, and a lot of stuff done, so, you know. Alright, got a large box, we can get rid of some of these boxes now. Get this cranking as well. Um, get a gun box as well and I think that's a pretty good second day.